Okay, guys, so here is the front of my flower bed. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. Needless to say, I let it get out of control. So, I'm going to try to fix that. We had so much rain from the hurricane. I figured now would be the best time to pull them up. All those weeds, like that right there is a weed. Going into my flowers, that's a weed. This thing needs to come out. We just have a lot of maintenance to do. And the soil is nice and soft, and so now is as good a time as any. Another thing Chris realized the other day is that pine tree, that one that kind of looks like a, a peace sign, the one on the right is dead. It, it doesn't have any more leaves and a couple of limbs fell out, but so that'll be a project. Oh boy. And then there's this growing up in between my porch. That is one crazy weed. Hey Turbo Boy. Ready Turbo. Turbo you ready boy. Turbo Boy. My place in that little guy. We just had him um, hooked up here because of the storm. I didn't want him. Hey, yeah. I didn't want him um, out there because <laughs> of the winds and the rain and stuff. I wanted him close to the house, so I just knew that he would run away and in the middle of the storm if we didn't tie him up. So, anyways, he's free now. Whoa. What? Okay. So we're gonna go around the garden. And give you a little tour what of is a chore? what mess we've started and how I'm gonna clean it up. Okay. You talking to me? No. So the first things over here, I've got some irises, Angel. some lilies that need to be cut back, and I think these are all going to stay. I've got that um, really tall lily back there. It's probably going to stay. This is an orange lily. It's going to be rehomed over by Chris's um, shed. All these irises are going to stay for now. They just need to be cut back. Same thing with these. Oh, these are so sad in this verbena. I just cut it back and it comes back every year. And those irises need to be cut back like a long time ago. Um, I need to put that in the, in the flower way. in a pot. Um, it just does not look good in the ground, and it would look so much better if I put it in a pot. Those are some more orange lilies that need to be rehomed. This big bad boy is going over by the, um... Mama, please do not cut that down. I, I like this one. I know. It's going over by, what's it called? The fire pit. Because it gets these really pink blooms on it, and then the foliage is really nice, and it'll look so pretty by the cedar. Um, let's see, back here, these are like starving each other for sunlight. Those tall yellow, those those are yellow. They get really, really tall lilies, and they will stay there for a while. Mom, these you mean? No, those way back there. And this bush, right here, get, it's just like twiggy and messy. And it gets little tiny red flowers on top. And it's just got to go. It does not make me happy. I want it to see it go away. This is an azalea that we're going to rehome over by the pine trees. I think it just needs a little bit more shade. It gets red blooms on it. These are gladiolas. And I planted, I kid you not, I planted five bulbs about three years ago. And this is what I have now. They fall over, they're a mess, and actually this year, they didn't bloom at all. They just grew leaves well, and no about flowers. These? What about these? That I need to put in, the pot in again? a pot. That's what I said. Okay, and now we're into what about lily land. What so about this crepe myrtle just needs to be pruned and loved and it'll be fine. Um, lilies. So, these lilies all around here um, 
are going to be rehomed around the light post. Like the, the lamp post. post, whatever you want to call it. Light post, the um, no, lamp. All lamp. of them, it's a lamp. except this one, because they just get too tall. They will not match with the different heights of all of these other ones. So that one needs a special place. Which one? And Mom. all of these other ones are like a pink and purple and burgundy in color, and they'll look really pretty together over there. Hey, Mom. Okay. Okay. Mom. And then I've got this rose bush that is so sad, y'all. Um, I got this for Mother's Day, and it just needs to be pruned every so often and really like right now it needs it bad and it will rebloom all summer but i have not been out here to do it this is a miniature yellow rose those are my flocks they're gonna stay there they actually did pretty good this year they have been um not doing very well in the past and then we have my limelight hydrangea that one is staying and that one actually inspired the whole flower bed revamp um, these lilies are peach. Yeah, I think these and these are peach. Yeah, like a yellow peachy color. I don't think either one of those are orange lilies, but we'll find out this year. I'll probably just leave those there and then move them once I'm positive what color they are. Um, this is a, that right there in the middle. This is a hibiscus. I'm going to rehome it. I'm probably going to give it to my parents. Um, and then way back there, you can kind of see the top. Those are some irises, and they need a new home. Um, both of the, we're going over there, both of the gardenias are coming out, and I want to replace them with more limelight hydrangeas. Um, and then finally on this side, we have these yellow, I don't know what they're called. I don't know the actual name yeah. of them, but they're little yellow lilies. They all look like that. They're very pretty. And what I'm doing is I'm working on dividing them to go all the way around. And so that whenever they bloom, they bloom all at one time and they make just like a sea of yellow. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so there's the second gardenia. It's going to get rehomed over by Turbo's cage. More weeds, more weeds, more weeds. It's a miracle that anything has kept growing because of all these weeds. We've got some irises over there that need a new home. And then there's this limelight hydrangea I planted last year. Um, let me see if I can get back here. Uh, you can't. Before you can't. I planted it, there was this sage plant in there that's what the, you see those little purpley blue flowers um it was there we ripped it all out and we planted that well you know root systems and things a lot of it came back so we've got to tear all that out and i'm sure i'll be finding it for a couple more years because it is really really powerful i think the word is invasive but i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to look that up but i think that means that things multiply or the root systems or something. I don't know. I gotta look that up because I need to know that. Um, we have more yellows, but the ones over here are absolutely starved by all of these weeds. This area has never been my favorite. It's always been really hard to plant and to mm -hmm. organize. And uh, this thing we need to cut down right And now. we need to cut a lot of it down. So I'm gonna be ripping all of that out this thing has never bloomed it was supposed to have like white ball flowers I'm and it rip. never bloomed so it is coming out i'm gonna rip your face so it is coming out those back there are some more orange lilies they need a new home another azalea that's going to be moved over by the pine trees and then we have these hostas that need to be trimmed back and shown lots of love um back here i've got a maple leaf hydrangea, a regular hydrangea, they are all staying. The elephant ears will die back and come back every year. And then this is a bush that I actually um, replanted from our old house. So I'll probably keep it, but it definitely needs to be trimmed. 
Okay, and then back here, we just have some orange lilies that need to be rehomed. I'll probably leave some of those there. They're just getting really, barely big. And then an elephant ear that I'll just cut back and leave there.
Well, it definitely looks better. We took out that um, gardenia bush and cleaned up the sage and the weeds. And this is where we're at with all of those weeds. They are gone. Just hauled them out just now. And now we're left with this. Found this ant hill. Holy moly. So we're going to leave that there for a little bit until I can figure out what to do with that. And then I've got that little patch of weeds right there that I need to pull out before we can say the weeds are gone. But it is a huge difference. Looks so much better.